Hey everybody, Squee913 here. How's it going? Um, I'm here with an update. I got a lot of information to get out to you guys, so let's just skip that super cool intro that you know I don't have anyway. Um, so, let's start with uh, Dragon Ball Z League. I mentioned in week 5 that starting next week, this week, I was going to start uh, letting you guys do a little customization to your teams. I found the ability to change the way each person can fight to another person's style. Um, in other words, to make a long story short, if you don't like the way Goku's fighting, you could say make him fight like Krillin or Tien or Broly or Cell or Frieza. Um, and, and I'm going to give you guys the ability to do that, to customize your team. Uh, what, what I'm going to do is on the forum, I'm going to place a list of all the different AIs that you can put on a certain character or put on any character and then I will let you guys choose uh, you know what you want on each team basically you have to claim a team in other words you have to uh, go to the forum go to one of the forum pages or one of your team's pages and say this is my team this is who I'm rooting for uh, because I won't let you do it for multiple teams that's the whole point to choose a team if your team doesn't have a forum page make one and then you can start customizing them um, if there's more than one fan, which a lot of teams have more than one fan, you guys are going to have to collaborate. Um, and basically what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to have a forum thread that will have a list of each uh, AI. And eventually, because I'm going to have to go do this by hand and write it out, I will give you a detailed list of what every single one does. You know, some uh, balance this attack or concentrate on that attack. But you can get the general idea from the name. If it's the TN AI, he fights the way TN does. And, and you guys have seen enough to get a general idea of the way each character fights. No, I'm sorry, I don't think there's a number 18. So, you're kind of out of luck on that one. But yes, um, so considering that week six is tomorrow night, I'm going to be streaming it tomorrow night sometime, you don't have a lot of time, but go to the forum, go to your team's forum page, and then you can equip any, all, or none of your characters with a different AI fighting style. Like, for example, I, 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 I root for Earth Defenders. I definitely want to change Goku's fighting style because he's done jack and crap all, all season. So, and I'm going to do that for you. Now, I had uh, a couple of viewers say that maybe they, they, wanted, they didn't want to do this. They thought everyone should stay the same. But here's the way I feel about that. In a sports league, sports evolve, uh, teams evolve. They, they look at their weaknesses over the season and they try and compensate for them. That's exactly what I want to try and do here. Now that we're a decent way into the season, I want people to be able to look at their team and say, okay, you know what? Um... King Cold is horrible. We need to try and fix him, make him stronger, and I want to at least give him that ability to a certain degree. So that's just how we're going to do it. Before I start the session, I'm going to go to the forum and take a look at each uh, forum page and see what you guys want, what you've agreed upon, and I will do that before we start the match. So if you want to make improvements before week six, you don't have a lot of time, so go there and... and um, and do your best uh, and that should make things really exciting and of course if you don't make it in time we'll just implement it next week um, next uh, thing we have up on the list is Assassin's Creed Brotherhood I, I want to point out that I I've worked a lot to get this uh, sound issue fixed and I had to edit every single episode I've uploaded so far to make sure the sound relatively matches uh, I think I've done a really good job Piff Zero uh, uh, was really big help in this and uh, you, he's a he's another let's player. He's on my list of people to check out. You guys should really check him out. He and uh, Ryu four one six or Sparta, depending on how you know him, also do let's plays and they're really really good at it. He was instrumental in helping me do this. I think I, no, I'm fairly sure I have completely fixed the sound problem. Um, so that's the good news. Uh, the bad news is for the next couple of episodes, if every once in a while you see the sounds a little bit off, shouldn't be too big of a. I mean, it shouldn't be too big of a problem, but but you know, be forgiving. Um, yeah, um, and I also found out a uh, way to render things in high definition without increasing the file size too much. So I can now upload, as you may have noticed in the past couple episodes, I can render things in HD. Now, whether it's really HD or YouTube's just telling me it's HD is kind of up to you guys. In fact, I would appreciate some feedback, uh, someone saying, yes, I really think this is better quality, this is really good, thank you, or eh, it says it's HD, but it still looks the same to me. Let me know. Um, but yeah, so basically it looks like I'm going to start being able to upload games in HD. Now older games like Draken or Baldur's Gate, pff, I probably won't care about uh, or, or, or worry about because they're older. But newer games, I should be able to do in HD now, so that's the good news. What else we got here? Oh yes, um, for those of you who are fans of Total War Third Age LP with my advisors, it is not dead. 
It is simply being placed on hold because my advisor of diplomacy has a summer job. And we have placed the LP on hold until that summer job ends so that we can actually know what direction to take our diplomacy. Um, so that one's been put on hold for a couple months till the end of the summer, but it's not dead, so it will still be around. Um, also, Mass Effect 2 with friends, I should also tell you, is not dead. I know it's been a long time since I've put out an episode, uh, and a lot of that has to do with scheduling conflicts. Um, basically, it's come down to where the only time I can now record Mass Effect 2 with friends is Friday nights. So, basically, if my guest cannot record at that time, Friday nights, you know, between, like, 10 p.m. and, I'd say, 4 a.m., GMT minus 6 or central time, then I'm sorry, but that's the only time I'm able to do it anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through my list of uh, people who have signed up and see who's available for that time, at least everyone who actually sent me a way to contact them. <laughs> Got a lot of people said, I want to be a guest, and then sent me no way to get a hold of them. Um, so if they can be part of it, that's cool. If not, then I'm just going to have to reduce the list, and I'm really sorry, you guys, but I, I have no choice. That's the only time I'm available to do it now. Um... But, like I said, it's not dead. In fact, I already have the guests lined up for the Collectorship, the uh, group of guests I'm going to have, which is going to be Fracture, um, it's going to be Skyuyo, it's going to be Mr. Galagoth, and it's going to be Real Arcalian, and we're going to have a really good time. And I'm set to record and stream that, not tomorrow, but the next Friday. Um, and tomorrow, I don't know if I'm going to have Mass Effect 2 with friends or not. Depends on if I can find a guest uh, for that time. Don't don't rush up and ask. i got to go through a list and stuff. Um, so... Uh, yeah, so anyway, Mass Effect 2 with Friends is definitely not dead. It's one of my favorite LPs. Uh, it's just moving along a bit slowly. So, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to talk about. I'm sure I'm missing a hundred things, but uh, for now, I think that'll about do it. Uh, oh, one more thing. People, people, please, for the love of all things somewhat holy, do not spoil Assassin's Creed Brotherhood for me. I know you guys are really excited. I am super excited. I absolutely love that game, and I love how much you guys are enjoying it. But... Please do not tell me what happens in the story, or hey, go do this, or hey, if you loot this person, you get this thing, or hey, if you finish this quest, you'll get this sword, or hey, make sure to do this, or don't do that. Just don't. Please. Please. You are ruining the wonder for me. Because now, instead of me finding out for myself going, wow, this is really cool, I didn't know you could do that, I don't get that experience, because you told me on a comment. Now, if that means I miss something, and you're like, oh, but if I don't tell you, you're going to miss it completely, then I miss it completely. Please understand, it's the first time I'm playing the game. I'm not trying to get everything. Don't kill the excitement for me, all right? So, until then, everyone, I think that'll about do it, and I will talk to you guys later. Take care.